All right, all right. What's really going on? Bitcoin, cryptocurrency. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at Polkadot, D-O-T, against US dollar, Tether, on the Binance chart. Going to be taking a look at the uh, technical aspects of price action moving forward. Going to be assessing some key levels, some short and long-term uh, price levels and forecasts. Now, jumping right into it, we have uh, some uh, significant pumpage and gainage from uh, a few months of consolidation here around the uh, $6 to $3 kind of range with lows of like you know $3.50, uh, $6, almost $7. Uh, traded in this range for uh, good, uh, good four months almost relatively. After uh, breaking upward, we've pumped for almost almost two months, kind of thing. After pumping from a seven dollar range, we're up five hundred and eighty six percent swing high from uh, six dollars to thirty five dollars. That's uh, pretty significant. In such a short term. We are uh, now seeing some exhaustion uh, at the top of the uptrend here as prices are cooling off. But uh, fundamentally, I believe uh, Polkadot has a lot of uh, a lot more room upward and is uh, and is uh, very bullish uh, with this uh, supported by this volume and the price action here and all these dips being bought up very quickly or flying through uh, large price ranges uh, very quickly and we're creating new price action very fast. We seem to be um, cooling off at very certain levels though. We're now finding a lot of sell pressure uh, around $40 kind of thing, the $40 kind of range. If we were to round it off, there's kind of like this kind of range here is where we're seeing a lot of sell pressure and the uptrend seems to be exhausting. Um, we've had a uh, almost 40%, 35%, 36%. 37% retracement from the swing high uh, relative to the uh, most recent kind of pump here. Been trading sideways for a couple of weeks, almost a month, I believe. Um, yeah, just over a month of kind of sideways. We seem to be printing a uh, higher low from this uh, rejection off of this uh, range here. These uh, consecutive lower highs from the swing high uh, relative to the most recent pump. We seem to now be printing a higher low relative to the uh, most recent uh, swing low from this uh, pullback. Um, if we uh, can hold $30, uh, that'll be a more bullish sign and uh, potentially uh, we can further the uptrend and reach all-time highs again much sooner. Um, but if we fail to hold this level, there are some, uh, some lower levels we need to consider that are... Uh, relatively significant. We turn on Engineering Robo and we see a new perspective come into play. Um, we have the uh, sell for, first sell for signal, enough price action to cause the sell for to suggest some more sideways and accumulation. Buy for during the sideways, golden cross, moving average, uh, crossover. As we break up significant uh, resistance, still within uh, this larger range though, Sell for, suggesting we're going to continue to trade within it. Super buy, suggesting prices are coming bullish again. Buy for, for the breakout. And we've been pumping ever since. Now we are seeing a super sell, uh, very significant uh, sell signal here, suggesting uh, the sell pressure coming in and sideways. Sell for now, uh, suggesting further sideways and heavier bearish pressure. Uh, at this level as this is a very very significant pump in a very short amount of time some downside or sideways is needed uh, I believe in my opinion and is healthy for an uptrend um, nothing kind of goes straight up or up forever some uh, you know has to come down eventually to reaccumulate um, there is a significant gap here that um, prices kind of fly right through uh, we are creating new price action uh, by the day uh, there seems to be a pretty significant space between pretty much 20 and uh, pretty much $25, $26 that we kind of flew right through 
and if we fail to hold $30, I suspect perhaps some interaction within this range. If we were to fall, to fall into this range, um, I suspect us to perhaps fly all the way down to it, to the bottom of it. Um, I suspect uh, if we fail to hold $30, uh, price could look like this. We could fall down below, come back up, retest off 30, interact with this range. Now, if we fall into this range, there is very high buy pressure um, above kind of $23 there. So we could see a bounce off there, but we could very easily fall right through to the $20 range to where we'll have to then kind of climb our way back up to where we can further interact with all-time highs. Now, this is a uh, very gradual and kind of a more, not really long-term, but a mid-term kind of correction that could occur, but in such a volatile space and with uh, the way prices are interacting with now, uh, we could very easily see uh, interaction with all-time highs much sooner and uh, corrections can be over far quicker than they even begin. Now, when we take a look at uh, Polkadot against Bitcoin, we see uh, buy four, super buy, cloud buy, significant uh, buy signals around the uh, 25, 520, all the way down to the 19, 128 Satoshi levels. Uh, we were finally able to gain against Bitcoin. Uh, finally topping out uh, the uh, 77, 402 Satoshi uh, level there, we've returned to the 58, 394 Satoshi level, uh, seeing if we can solidify this as support, uh, which was resistance that we've interacted with as resistance back in uh, January of uh, this year, end of January there. Um, holding support along this level will be very bullish. I honestly suspect, uh, I honestly suspect us to come down to probably the uh, 5332 Satoshi level kind of there, I suspect something kind of like this. Um, we will most likely hold there before we can kind of continue upward. Um, again, it probably will not take uh, this long. I do not suspect um, this much consolidation. But when we consider, although when we consider um, price action against uh, US dollar tether, this supercell and sell for could suggest um, some prolonged sideways within this range for uh, for perhaps uh, double what we've had now. The uh, we've traded sideways in this range, this uh, this large range large range here for several months, and so with a super sell and sell for, if we see any more sell signals print, uh, we could potentially see perhaps uh, several months of sideways. Now, uh, momentum can switch at any point. We could very well see a large bounce off of $30, $31, come all the way back up, interact with that range again, and come right out of it. Um, you know, we could very easily find support very quickly. The bullishness of Polkadot is still still very high. There's still very a lot of buy pressure, and uh, there's plenty of room upward. But with a uh, 600, nearly 600 percent uh, pump in kind of a uh, like month or two, kind of there, uh, some sideways or some downside is um, expected. Uh, a more bearish consolidation perhaps could uh, could look like this. Some wicks down into the uh, you know, mid 20s, high 20s kind of range. Something a little like that, perhaps. But in such a volatile space and such a, uh, you know, such a crazy sphere that is cryptocurrency, uh, price action could easily take off. I have uh, a target for Polkadot in its uh, kind of, you know, short term lifetime around. $50 at least. I suspect us to kind of come up to probably like 60 or 70, but $50 at least. 
in a perfect world, we go to a million, obviously. Just kidding. Anyway, that being said, thank you for hearing my analysis. Try Engineering Robo for free. Link in the description. Uh, tune in for the next one. Watch out for dots breakout. We're in a uh, very, very, uh, very pivotal range here. If we fail to hold thirty dollars, be aware for the uh, twenty dollar ranges, the low twenty dollars. If we uh, can hold thirty, then uh, watch out for the high thirties to forties again, to where we can hopefully interact with all-time highs and create some new price action.